Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Automation Channel. Today in this session, let's understand the aggregate report listener as part of JMeter performance series. In case if you are new to this session, do watch my earlier session so that you will understand and follow this session. So to get that listener to be listed here, you have to go to the thread group, right click, go to add, go to the listeners and then you select the aggregate report. Now I will execute. Uh, first, let me clear this all and execute. Now you will see it is started getting the data and this aggregate report has the name column. You can modify it and comments. Then you have a file read and write option. You can browse and uh, get that file here. You can save the data by using this save data table table data. So label is something which is our HTTP sampler request. So in my case, it's a first test. It's a one of the sample. It is executing over a period of time for multiple times. So now this second column is samples. So samples is nothing but our thread thread group count. So number of threads we have given right number of threads is 20. So in the aggregate report, you will see the samples are 20 with the same HTTP request sampler. Now the average so average is something which is the average time it takes to samples to get the response is 24 milliseconds and median is something which is similar to the average but it will take the middle values like say if you have a 10 values some 0 to 10 so from 5, 5 and 6 it will do a addition and by 2 you will get a 5.5 .5. so that is a median value and then you have a 90 percentile line and 95 percent line 99 percent line so which means that 90 percent of your samples are getting a response within the given time so 30 in the 31 milliseconds 90 percent of your samples are getting the response next 95 percentile is something which is 95 percent of your samples are getting the response by 32 milliseconds and whereas 99 percentile is almost 100 percent of your samplers are getting the response with the given time so 39 is a maximum time or 99 percentile time so this 99 percentile and maximum time are more or less will be equal you will see uh, same value between 99 percentile and the maximum column so this is a maximum column and the minimum column is the minimum time it took to get the fastest response is 17 milliseconds and then you have a error here so error is something which whenever there is a failure of your sampler request or server is giving the error so in that cases you will see this percentage coming through and throughput is number of transactions over a period of time it may be seconds minutes hours so in this case it took in 1.1 per second so this receive kb and send kb this can be uh, we can understand like it shows the incoming traffic in the kilobytes per second it depends on the size of the response and the throughput the number of requests per unit of time so hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel in case if you have any questions queries you can post in my comment section and i will be out thank you